I am all for good arcade racers, and I always want more of them. I found Need for Speed Heat to be very underrated. It came out with little to no marketing, which was a huge shame considering how good it was and still is. EA, oddly enough, did the same type of marketing with their recent entry, Unbound. The visual style of the use of cell shading definitely had it stand out from other titles with its trailers. But again, EA didn't bother to market this game at all. It had a few trailers, but then after that, it seemed like EA sent this out to die. My hope when I started this was that it would be another hidden gem like Heat. Sadly, that wasn't the case. There is some fun to be had here, but if you've played Heat, then this is going to feel like a step down. And if you haven't played Heat, I would recommend that you start there, especially with it recently being on PS Plus and being heavily discounted everywhere. Need for Speed Unbound is a decent racer. You have two modes of play, story and online. Story has you in a map that you can race around and complete events in. Similar to heat, day and night factor into the game. As you complete events, you will rack up money and increase your heat of the cops. At night, the cops are much more aggressive. The fun risk and reward element is back as well. You need to make it back to your safe house to cash in your rewards. So the longer you are out, the more heat you will have, increasing both the risk of losing it all and the reward of gaining a lot. As a system, I really like this, but much of the execution doesn't feel as engaging as it was in Heat. You will hear me compare Unbound to Heat a lot in this video, since both are very similar games. Now there is a narrative as part of the story mode, but it did not give me any reason to care or get invested in it. The writing feels like it's written by people who think this is how people actually talk. It doesn't feel genuine and it feels forced most of the time. Boosting is your main goal. Driving dangerously and with skill will provide you with additional boosts. The sense of speed is satisfying. I also really like the use of the cell shading layered onto the realistic looking cars. My problem with this is how this cool visual style is not used enough. It feels like this area of the game is in early access, or just slapped on. I think the developers could have gone a bit further with the art style and really leaned into it. In the free play and online, you can drive around the city completing quick events, finding collectibles, and racing other people. Again, all of this stuff was done in heat and done a lot better than for one, you could have AI in a race when you're racing with people, which was something that you could do in Heat and it was really enjoyable. Sometimes you could create these sort of co-op races, but this is something that you cannot do in Unbound for some reason. Also, everything was well integrated in Heat, and here it feels segmented in Unbound. Like I said before, Unbound is decent. It's fun to play, but it's also very disappointing, and honestly should have been a lot better or at least on par with Heat. So if you're looking for a fun arcade racer, play Need for Speed Heat over this. Also, I find it odd that EA seems to hate their racing games. Grid Legends was a title released earlier this year, and it had an almost stealth release. Now the game was actually really solid, very fun, lots of options, and a high production campaign, with enjoyable live action cutscenes. I have no idea what EA is doing, but they need to give their racing titles more care and love, especially when marketing them when they are good like Legends. They bought up all the Codemaster devs, so I hope they treat them with care. I do not recommend Unbound, but Legends and Heat are both worth playing. If you're interested in being notified of new videos, please hit the subscribe button and bell. And if you'd like to support the channel and get early access to content, please check out my Patreon. All of the links will be at the end of this video and within the description. And thank you very much for watching.